Mr. Speaker, Republicans now control all of our government. Whatever happens to our health care system will be their responsibility, including what has already happened since January with the destabilizing of our insurance markets and health plans, announcing rate hikes due to uncertainty. They will be held accountable for what happens. Today, Americans will have an opportunity to see exactly where their representatives stand. This vote is a simple one. It votes to kick 24 million Americans off of their health insurance coverage. I don't say that, CBO says that, which is perhaps why we don't have a CBO report on the amendment. It includes 7 million people who are covered through their employers. It is a vote to make coverage unaffordable for one in four Americans with pre-existing conditions and rating ration care through high-risk pools. It is a vote to impose an age tax on old Americans, some $1,700 to $14,600. That's quite a hike. It's a vote to force Americans to pay more for less, to raise premiums 24 to 29 percent on average over each of the next two years. CBO says that, not me. And no matter how Republicans try to spin it, healthcare advocates from the AMA to AARP to everybody that follows have said that it ends protection for those with pre-existing conditions. It ends protections for those with pre-existing conditions. It ends protections for those with pre-existing condition and it takes away essential health benefits like doctor visits, emergency room visits, and prescription drugs. So this, Mr. Speaker, will be a very instructive vote. It will show the American people if Republicans stand with those who don't want to lose their coverage, some 55% now and 75% saying fix it, don't repeal it, or if they stand with a president who wants to claim a victory but doesn't even seem to know what his own Trump care bill says. I rec recommend, as a political strategist who concerned about 2018, that you once again withdraw this bill. Instead, we ought to work together to make sure that the Affordable Care Act works for all Americans and deliver, deliver on the promise that President Trump made and made from that rostrum when he said that he wanted insurance for everybody. Not kick 24 million off for everybody. Not make seniors pay more for everybody. Not to put Medicaid at risk for everybody. It's far less expensive and far better. I urge my colleagues, come to your senses, defeat this bill. Gentlelady from Tennessee.